So today, as uh, we're going to make an Africa page instead of Chakra, because mm, uh, you know that Wednesday there's going to be an Africa page. Uh, so at this very moment, uh, uh, like half done, because uh, you know that I take some time for Africa because it takes longer than, uh, than Chakra. Uh, so right now, uh, there's three panels made, done, but the other two are <laughs> quite big. So without further ado, um, I'd say we should start uh, the stream. So here is the page. I love drawing Africa. 
so hot you can you may be too low
but I sucked. Like seriously, um, it's not just that I, I've never owned a tablet. I've never had any tools to work with except regarding digital programs. So maybe that's why I don't really like to use them because I I am I'm crippled uh, with with, a, with just a mouse. I don't move very smoothly. My movements are rare. Uh, they're they're bad. My drawings look like uh, I mean not so good. So yeah, I might I prefer traditional much better. I have more money, I have more experience. Um, but um, I still do that digital works. Oh, thank you. I'm happy you like it. going to add some more thumbs of green here. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. And my, that's, that's something. Being able to, uh, even just at a level that you, you forget how it, or how it is to work, uh, in a way, that's, that is something. It means that you, you must be quite skilled. Yeah, I can understand that. You have the same same coordination I have with, with digital in your case. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm really I'm really bad at digital. Like you see my drawing digitally, and it looks like a ten year old drawing. Seriously, I'm not even kidding there. I'm not trying to uh, denigrate anyone. I'm sure that like many of you. Like almost all of you would be much better than me in digital. Just because I'm good at traditional doesn't mean that I'm good at digital. I have no idea.
crap. Um, for how rude it is, you can say it's crap, but you have to explain why. Um, yeah, that's not that's not enough. It's just saying um, you're make you improve. Not only it's rude, but it doesn't make you improve either. Like I had a case uh, on one of my chakra pages. Um, like one person say, what dot 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 is this S dot dot dot. And yeah, that was quite unnecessary, but I understood that it was kind of looking for a fight. So I just, just say, yeah, this is my comic. Welcome, hi, smile, peace and love. Don't want to argue with you, I don't know you, um, I don't want to get you into a fight. So yeah, I, I'm not one pretty over the internet, because internet makes everything giant. Like every problem, it makes it insanely huge. So we yeah, have much better not to pick fights anyway. Hey, yeah, Slovenia. There's always 
some sort of colors, some sort of blue, some sort of yellow. So yeah, that is that is the reason why. Kia Liga flight. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry if I made a mistake. And yeah, that is also for me. The, in the internet taught me a lot of English. Like when I first came here on Libya Park back in 2008, I was traveling. Uh, and sure, you can. My pencils are called on uh, where is it? Oh, third series. Carandash. Carandash Super Color Soft. Wait, uh, they are water soluble pencils. Means that if you drop water on them, they become water colors. And this makes them pretty good for blending. They are exceptional for blending. For um, uh, for making uh, effects like uh, like digital. They, they they tend to look like digital effects because they blend in so well. Yeah. Um, at my school, it actually depends on the teacher you. If you pick the, the right one, uh, you, you you kind of you're kind of set. But if you pick the one that you do the thing, uh, the screw because she won't teach you anything during your three, three, five years of high school. Me, I kind of pick the good one. Uh, I mean, I say pick one that who liked English and who liked teaching. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, well, actually, I've been to Spain recently. They don't really speak English very much, um, but the, those who did, uh, they eat quite well. Um, you have to find the people who speak English. They don't expect anyone to speak English in Italy. Uh, if you come to Italy, prepare some Italian, seriously. There's no one who speaks English. They are, I don't know if they're trained to speak a foreign language because like they don't know how they sound so they are it's a bit of a shame for them and uh, or otherwise I have no idea why. <laughs> Japanese I also tried to learn once. Uh, back in uh, high school I, I, I took a course of one year uh, I did learn something, but forgot everything <laughs> because I only took that one year and Japanese had is to be practiced, practice, practice, practice all the time. So I kind of lost it. But um how to write. How to write hiragana, katakana. Kanji I don't remember very well. Just some, just the simplest ones. But I, I still can spell a little bit of it. But just write it, just spell it. Amazing. That is it. I would love to travel so so far. Japan is something amazing. Like if I if I were to go Japan, I don't know. I, I, I it probably wouldn't be bad. So <laughs> for the sake of my um, these pencils are 120, 20, 20, yes, 20, 120. Uh, they're divided into three, uh, like this. This one is almost empty because most of them, the, the, the holes you see here, is pencils uh, so small that they have to be attached to uh, an elongator. But yeah, they are 20. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. And yeah, uh, I know that some words like okay, konnichiwa and uh, arigato, okay, but like more complicated stuff. Like I like going to school. I, I uh, work in a factory. I don't know stuff like that. Mm, I'm not sure how I like. I I did remember something along the lines of. Korega, I have no idea. Seriously, I haven't, I haven't um, uh, spoken it in so long. I don't remember a thing. 
words, okay, Italian is my first language, so I, I can, but uh, I also know French. I've learned it at school, and I know um, Spanish, and I would like to learn uh, German, because I like it also. And wait a second, I lost my, wait a second, wait a second, oh, there it is, there it is. I, I, I lost the, the direction of shading for a moment. In fact, I kind of screwed here. Wait a second, wait a second. Eraser, oh, there's my eraser. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mer means uh, that word there. And that is actually very close to Italian. In Italian, there's also a word that starts with M, and that means oh, poop. And you don't say that word, because otherwise Italians will come at you and kill you. No, no, really. But you shouldn't say it. In French, instead, I, I read that uh, the M word is actually not so rude. I mean, you can say it, it's like, damn it. It's not, it's not bad, it's not like that. It's more like, yeah, um, an exclamation. You can say it. In Italian, don't say it. Um, for the story, um, kind of, uh, um, how to say, I came up with it after watching many documentaries. It's like, okay, let's, let's do something more natural, story to it. And gradually, gradually stuff came through. Um, it took me long to make the story, longer than Chakra, because things had to make sense here. The Chakra doesn't make sense. In this comic, things have to make sense. Like, I'm still modifying the story. Um, I modifi I'm modifying it, like, for example, right now, I added a, a plot twist that actually makes sense for me. And so, yeah, I added it just now, just to make, um, uh, uh, how, how to say, just to make a comparison. Chakra, it's being long done. Uh, Africa, I'm still working on it. I've been working on it today, for example. Uh, so, yeah, it's still in, in the, And yeah, what do you think Africa is going to be about? And okay, we would we, we, we okay with this. Mm, I see. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I learned that uh, German and Dutch are quite similar, uh, but I'm not really sure I could tell them apart if I were to listen to them. Okay, I can tell German apart, but compared to Dutch, I'm not sure actually. Thinking about them right now, I'm not sure if I could distinguish them, uh, but yeah, they are quite similar, I think. Okay. 
huge one who's really taller than a man. And that is brilliant. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, uh, that's, that's one nice language. And yeah, langurs, of, of, of course, they don't come in nature. Uh, they are man made. Because tigers and lions in nature. Tigers are from Asia, Asia, lions are from Africa, so they don't meet. And yeah, their their cross is not good for nature. That is that is of course. That is something. Um for Africa, I chose her to be a leopard because um every story about Africa is either about the lions or the hyenas or or the cheetahs also sometimes, but leopards seem to be quite overlooked as cats. Like most people don't even recognize leopards. They they exchange them for um, jaguars or cheetahs. I don't know how that can be, but they can. They can be confused because they are so uh, unknown. So I chose to make the story of an, an animal that could be more known. Leopards are amazing. They're gorgeous creature, they're capable of something, uh, some, so many beautiful things, like they can climb with prey in their mouth, they don't feel uh, them heave, and that is brilliant, that is something lions couldn't do, for example, as strong as they are. So I chose to, to spotlight them a little bit, because they are so rude. can't have feelings. I mean, that is what is said, actually. Many people say ligers are, are sterile, they can't have babies. But lately there's been like rumors of them being actually fertile. I don't know really because uh, it's as you say, they're like the mules. Mules are animals who come from crossbreeding, breeding of two species of, uh, what is it called? It, it, Horses and that idea of what it's called, the donkey, 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 donkey. And it's a rare image. Uh, yeah, so they come from two different species coming together. So they are infertile. And so are the ligers, they say. Yeah, tigers are really beautiful. They're beautiful creatures. And yeah, wolves are, so of course. Wolves are.
two minutes, yeah, two minutes slide. Also, maybe a little bit less today because I, I lowered the quality a little bit. But yeah, last time it was really, really easy, really, really lively. But it kind of it goes. And yeah, uh, that is also the reason why I answer to your comments later. Like I read them, but when my answer comes, it's already. So I'm very sorry for that. I still do answer, so that is the important part. And also, very sorry for the microphone. It's making my, my voice sound really bad. Like, my voice is already bad to begin with. And, um, uh, yeah, this is making me hideous. Like, something, I sound like a boy. And I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a girl. I'm very sorry for that, seriously. <laughs> um, once, when I was a kid, I used to, to draw base characters of Lion King, especially the hyenas, I love the hyenas from the movie, and Scar. And yeah, so um, I kind of kept them secret. Um, when I grew up, I kind of uh, uh, put them apart, put them back, but I do have them. I have a character that is that was actually uh, just like Simba, but kind of more fluffy, and he became a lion with the huge mane, and I love the huge mane. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> of course, it's, it's 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 weird. I don't know. It's weird. I don't like it so much. Wait 
to bring Jita back this she's such a beautiful character. I love Jita. She's one of my characters, my favorite characters. Even if she's so grumpy.
it's in my frequently asked question. Uh, if you go there, uh, at the question that's about uh, adding speech bubbles, there is a link to a tutorial, very useful tutorial. It's very easy, very straight to shop, you will learn it in a second. And it's, it, it gives very, very nice bubbles.
for uh, it's 29 by 21 centimeters long. It's the one used for printers, most common type. Yeah, they probably would say that. I mean, they know that I am streaming, but they have no idea what I'm talking about, and they have no idea who I'm talking to, so they probably imagine that. <laughs>
sort of spiky mane. Actually, vervet monkeys are very fluffy. So they do like, uh, they do uh, from, from far away. It's 
actually very difficult to even to, to tell a, a leopard from a jaguar if you're not used to it. It's difficult even if you if you show people to, you, you you can be as good at drawing as you want. But if people don't know the animal, it's useless. And it's not about people being uh, uh, stupid or not knowing the stuff. It can be. For example, me, I cannot tell the difference between toads and frogs. I can't. But, uh, like, okay, sometimes it's obvious, some other time it's less obvious. and efforts, it's just like that. Get your continents straight. <laughs> that is right.
raise them. They, it's not that they keep them as pets. They, they give them the, the wilderness they deserve. Wild animals. They don't approach them. They don't pet them. They don't uh, like uh, uh, give them fondles. They, they, they give them all they, they have to, all they need. They give them food, they entertainment, but they treat them as wild. They don't treat them as pet. That is what centuries are about. It's as if the, the lions, the tigers, they were it's as if they were wild. Actually, they are not. But for a good reason, they are not. Of course, in zoos, uh, lions and animals, they are not kept very well. Because the, the cages are modern, they have less space, they have less entertainment, there's thousands of people looking at them. Uh, so, of course, in zoos, it's worse. That is actually something that happens with all the predators. Also in Australia, there's people hunting dingoes because they kill cattle. And uh, this is not good for the, for the people who live there because they live on cattle. Uh, so that is the reason why. It's not because of dingo, it's, it's good food. It's, it's, I'm going to make a coat out of it. They hunt them because they threaten their cattle. That is why it's not good to give wild animals uh, trust. They shouldn't learn to, to come look for food at the humans, because the humans do not stand animals. Yeah, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. Of course, humans are the dominant species. species. If they they find themselves threatened by them, they eradicate because they want to conserve the species. We are no different from other animals. We have technology, okay, but we have the same needs. We need to survive. And if an animal threatens us, that is the thinking. Of course, that is not right. Because the animal doesn't know any better. They hunt for food, not because they want to kill us. Yeah, that is that is something I don't accept. Killing for the fur is never right. Never, never, never. You can go on living without a fur, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, actually, man was an animal before. No animal. It's not like being different from animals. We work in the same way. We have the same elements in ourselves. We have the same biological processes. We all breathe. We move. Like most of us, at least. Most, most animals move. Uh, most uh, animals reproduce uh, with, with the way we know. So we're no different. The only different access to work, we have access to um, intellect, we have access to complex thoughts. And some animals can also do this. Of course, not at our level, but they can do. But the problem is that being more intelligent, we are the dominant species. We decide uh, pretty much who dies. This is the thought of people running business, uh, of people like, uh, uh, people like, uh, what is it called again, peasants and people who decide to shoot animals because they destroy their, their field. Hey, I'm dominant, I'm going to kill you because you destroy my field. Yeah, hurting an animal for food, like hunting for 
nothing wrong with it.
personal pool just for it, I guess. I don't know where you could put it, you know, but yeah, North Korea, wow.
useless. It's not a good animal that brings illnesses. Instead, they're very...
and it's already like the beginning of the story. Oh, I'm enjoying it so much. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I only really worked on the two uh, panels there. Only this panel and the previous one. The other ones were already done. So it's okay that you came at this time because the ones, the finals one, two, three were already done. Even before the stream. See? Because Africa, as you can see, takes a lot more than chakra to, to color. So I, I advantage them.
so much. I hope you like her.
effects for the masks, most probably, because uh, they didn't have computer graphics back then. So yeah, that's probably why we've been traumatized by it, because the graphics were kind of weird, it's probably it's friendly.
later on. Right now I'm taking a rest. When you do take rests, and wait, I will raise my camera to a point where I can see myself so that I can show you the page. Uh, signature, signature, signature. Okay. So here's the finished page. We have panel one, I don't know if you can see it. With Africa making a face. Panel two, with Africa making a different face. Panel three, with scared paw. Panel four. Okay, wait. With Africa, Nadira, and Pa in the background, I don't know if you can see it. And panel five with Africa hunting the monkey. I'm sorry if you can see it very well, you can see it tomorrow as, as a preview. You can see it here. And yeah, so this is the page. Um, I really hope that you liked it. And if you want right now, you can make, a, I can make a, a, a just a quick sketch, just to cool myself down with my hands. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. I can re I'm reading the other computer and I'm so happy you like it. Seriously happy you like it. Wait, I will, I will say it again. Another paper? Just a second. Yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing headphones because this way I can hear my voice as I record. Uh, otherwise, it would be just a mess because I, it keeps mingling with the with the microphone. Um, uh, just a second. I'll take a pencil. Where is the pencil? Pencil, pencil, pencil. There we are. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, thank you. The paper size is A4. It's uh, the size of the paper you use for printing. No different. No bigger. No smaller. And here we go. Another. So, uh, for this paper, we draw a cow Africa. Uh, we make her big so you can all see it. <laughs> Pencils.
the problem is that I don't usually I don't erase, especially for the sketch. Uh, they are wrong. They say okay, just let's keep them like that. But that was really wrong, and I couldn't see it, so I just erased it. Um, signature, and there we go. Screen again, high again, and there's the picture complete with Cow Africa. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. She's kind of rolling. It's better if I tilt it. There we go. Okay. Cow Africa. So, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm reading the comments. I'm so happy you like it. Uh, I don't have any secrets. <laughs> oh come on! Don't be like that. I don't have any secrets. I'm just happy that you like it. I I've been drawing. Uh, so that's why perhaps the manuality like that. Uh, but so uh, yeah, this is it. Um, so thank you so much for being to my stream. Um, I even through the conversation we had with the questions you asked me, the questions I asked you, so <laughs> I'm so, so happy you like it. Um, I can remove this, so that hair flows better, and um, so yeah, thank you so much for being here, and um, meet you tomorrow, uh, probably in the morning, for so like uh, tonight, very very late night for Africa and so uh, I will answer all your comments as always as I always will and uh, I always read your comments my hair like that. so yes thank you a lot for being here thank you thank you thank you thank you and have a good evening have a good day have a good morning whatever it 